there are actually a couple of mobile releases that have made our hearts skip one to almost three bids in the first half of 2014. One of such devices is the all new Samsung Galaxy S5. I know, I know. Since its release in the month of April 2014, quite a lot has been said about it. And while I'm tempted to say, okay, maybe we will take their word for it, I'm not willing to let them off so easily. So I say, let's take this pretty little thing from Samsung on a spin Tech City style, shall we? My name is Bella Rosa Koji and this is Tech City's review of the Samsung Galaxy S5. This is Tommy Ahonen. I am a mobile author, written 12 books on mobile, and I love being on Tech City. Let's begin now with the features of the all-new Samsung Galaxy S5 in no particular order, but top of the list will be the 4.4.2 KitKat OS that the device runs on and it's 2 gig RAM. You might not understand the technicalities, but basically this phone does not hang. It's very swift and very fluid. A power saving mode might sound like a no-brainer, but no phone has done it as well as the ultra power saving mode on the S5. When the mode is activated, what it does is it turns off all applications and functions on the phone that primarily drain battery life and it keeps the core of very important applications that you need still running. Still talking about battery, the S5 does really well in general. Now let's talk water resistance. The only Samsung Galaxy S5 is water resistant because it can stay on the water for at most 30 minutes, as much as one meter deep, all right? And so you'd have no issues operating your phone when it's raining or when you're in the shower or when your hands are wet. So critics have in the past pointed out that disappointing cameras have become a staple of Android phones. However, the 16 megapixel back facing camera on the S5 and the two megapixel front facing camera on the S5 just might be the best camera quality you might get in the Android market. Apart from the usual suspect, the panorama mode, drama shots, dual shot, etc., that we're really impressed by on the S4, the S5 comes with the fast autofocus where you can take a picture faster than you can say cheese. Seriously. It also has the HDR, which gives you a beautiful preview of the picture before you take it. So when you do, it's one shot and that's it. Making your operation of the Samsung Galaxy. CS5 camera, a professional of some sort. The fingerprint sensor on the S5 is just on the home button, right here. And it does not only allow you to unlock your phone, but it also grants you exclusive access to your device and your Samsung account. And it allows you to scan your finger to authorize payment at any shop that accepts PayPal on mobile. To think that PayPal is also now in Nigeria, the perfect setup. Let me tell you now about the user experience on the Samsung Galaxy S5. For starters, the user interface is like nothing you've seen in any of the Galaxy series. The notification center is way more colorful. Yes, the 5.1 inch screen has a 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution, and that makes the display really colorful, sharp, and very fluid. Let's talk storage. The Samsung Galaxy S5 comes with an internal memory of 16 gigabytes and is expandable with a micro SD card to 128 gigabytes yes that much and yes the back cover i know it comes in a variety of colors has a good grip to it and a great feeling so i have to admit the samsung galaxy s5 plays down on almost all the features that got us particularly excited on the previous Galaxy devices because I see an underlying note of individualized and personalized settings in safety, in health, with respect to sensors like the accelerometer, the barometer, the compass, the fingerprint scanner, the heart rate sensor. It's undoubtedly a more intense device that awarding the Samsung Galaxy S5 high-end phone of the year would be a no-brainer. For Tech City, I'm Bella Rosa and this has been our review. Do not forget to follow us on all our social media platforms on your screen right now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course check out our website on www.techcityng.com. See you next time.